Hey guys, welcome back to another What I Eat In A Day vlog. We're hanging out at home. We're gonna test some recipes, probably throw in a short at-home workout later. I wanted to start the morning by testing out a viral recipe. It's the Dalgona like cloud coffee. Uh, I've been seeing a bunch of people post about it on Instagram and YouTube. You just need instant coffee, sugar, and hot water. You whip it all together and then you serve it over like plant-based milk and ice. Okay, so it's equal parts sugar, instant coffee, and hot water to dissolve the coffee. I'm not entirely sure how much foam this will make, so we'll see. I also have like Simple Truth Organic instant coffee. I'm hoping this will work and that there's not some sort of like weird additive in uh, like more mainstream brands of instant coffee that makes it foamy. I think it should be fine though. Okay. You can do this by hand if you want an arm workout, um, but I'm gonna be using electric beater. I believe this is just as whipped as it will get. Super fluffy. It's like sticking to the spatula. <laughs> so I've got a mixture here of Oatly and a little splash of the Silk Half and Half that I love so much. And I've got ice. And uh, this does not taste good on its own. Trust me, it's just super concentrated coffee. But you're supposed to Spoon it over your milk. Kind of mix it in. Let's see if we can get the gradient. Well, it certainly looks very cute. Not sure how functional this is, though, because all of the flavor is just floating on the top. I wonder if I stir it in, if it will collapse all the bubbles. It's fine. It's not bad. It's coffee, milk, and sugar. I mean, given that we're all stuck at home, um, I feel like this is an okay use of five minutes. So go do it. Mm, it looks so fancy. Mmm. You like it? It's so thick. Yeah? Whoa. Taste the top. It's super bitter, obviously. it's pure coffee and sugar. It is good though. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm glad that you enjoy it. <laughs> ah. You can have it. <laughs> Wait, so what did you do? It's literally just instant coffee granules, water, and sugar, and you whip it okay. into this, and then you just float it on top of uh, milk. Oh, you float it on top of milk. I just mix it in slightly. It. Yeah. Mm. It's good. Yeah? It is bitter, the foam, but it is good. Yeah. Well, I'm glad. You gotta get it in your mouth. <laughs> what should we eat for breakfast? Are you hungry at all? Not really. Too many Oreos last night. We um our our sleep schedule has been just been just been demolished by um being at home all day. So we've been going to sleep at like well, I I have a Fitbit and it tracks my sleep and lately I've been falling asleep around 2 a.m. and waking up around 10 a.m. So we were like. It was making us depressed, so we forced ourselves to get up at eight, eight today. Yeah. Meaning we set our alarms for eight, and then I set one for eight o five, and then I set one for eight thirty, just we, to make sure. We woke up at eight o five. Yeah, we, we didn't get out of bed till right. eight thirty. <laughs> right. So it's very early, and I'm not that hungry. So we might be um, starting the eating a little late today. Yeah. Yeah. Love you. Love you. <laughs> All right. It's kind of late. Uh, it's past noon now, but we're having our first meal, and it's hot dogs. Hot dogs. Light life jumbo dogs. Got some minced onion, some sauerkraut, a little bit of sweet relish, which I don't really like. I prefer dill relish, but we can't be picky here. And some wheat buns. I'll probably put like mayo and mustard and ketchup on mine because I love sauce. All right, you guys want to see some skill? 
I have no clue what you're gonna do. Are you gonna burn your hands? Hot hot dog! Hot hot dog! Oh, okay. So, as a New Yorker, are you guys like kind of snobby about hot dogs? Um, I don't know. Or that's Chicago people. I think I think New Yorkers are snobby about everything, but <laughs> vegan hot dogs are at least right now mediocre. They're not that good. Right. So like, well, whatever. we have some uh, Beyond sausages in our in the fridge. Delicious, but not hot dogs. Right. All right. Beyond, Beyond hot dogs, make it happen. I've said this so many times on <laughs> right. your on your channel. Beyond hot dogs, hot come dog, on! Hot dog rant, okay. Come on, all right, do you want to dress all? Now that I think about it, I should have melted some cheese on the buns. Do you agree with mayo on, on the hot dog or no? Yeah. Is it not right? I really think I just like all of the toppings more than the actual hot dog. So I want to put like I think that's... pickled jalapenos on here too. That sounds about right for you. <laughs> I'm like trembling with caffeination right now. What do you have? That coffee. Oh, there's caffeine in that? Yeah. That's why I it's feel instant, caffeinated. It's instant coffee, okay. so I didn't have decaf. You know, sometimes I drink decaf coffee, and I'm like, oh, I'm getting the jitters, and Sarah's like, it's decaf, that was decaf. Right? <laughs> but this time, it wasn't just a, a psychological thing. No. Yeah, and there were there's two tablespoons in there. You okay? Yeah, I'm very hungry all of a sudden. I uh, I don't know what to do. I, I I know now what I want on mine. <laughs> I don't know why this is stressing me out so disproportionately. You have. Well, I just got really confused about whether I should put the chunky stuff on first and then the uh, condiments, or the other way around. Then the the non chunky like stuff. Like what would be more visually appealing? And I think you, I think you made the right call. This is what being a food blogger does to me. My head's not in it. Look at it. Somehow I think we'll all survive. <laughs> You're not a relish guy? What are you doing? Sniff it. Can I take a bite? Yeah, go for well, it's, it. It's cheers. I'm still, I'm still assembling. I know. Mmm. That's really good. I'm sorry, I have to take a photo of this. This is the life I live. Great. Excellent. Hmm. Mm hmm I feel like it needs hot sauce now. Actually, this hot dog tastes pretty good. Mm hmm Maybe because we really blistered it. With oil? Mm-hmm. How do you feel about the field roast frankfurters? I think they're a little too sausagey to be a hot dog. I can't remember the last time I had them. So now what are we going to do? I'm going to clean the garage. Oh yeah. We're going to try to set up a little makeshift gym in our garage. We have a bunch of random like sets of weights and stuff that friends have given us downstairs that we don't use. We've mostly been running and now I'm kind of worried that I'm going to lose all my muscle. So got to get on those home workouts. Mm -hmm. I think that the two of us are going to start like a 30 day fitness challenge for ourselves? Maybe eight week. Maybe. We'll see. Who knows? We'll track it. Because what else, you know, what else do we have to do other than get really fit, right? Eating hot dogs. Mm-hmm. High protein. They really are. I honestly feel like I could eat 30 of these. Yeah, you could. And you should. Mm -hmm. You deserve it. I want chili cheese dogs. Mm. Can we just eat hot dogs for the rest of the quarantine? Sure. Well, let's see. If you want to eat 2,000 calories a day, that's just 20 hot dogs? Mm -hmm. They're all 100 calories, right? Mm -hmm. We were at the grocery store the other day. All the tofu was sold out. All the tempeh was sold out. Mm -hmm. They did have hot dogs. They had some field roast sausages. I can't believe so many people are buying tofu. They had all the Beyond stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah, it had just been restocked. They had Beyond and they had the uh, pure farmland stuff. Mm. There was no meat, though, right? Mm -hmm. Hasn't the meat been sold out? Mm -hmm. yeah. I guess it's fine. Meat probably just doesn't... It doesn't last as long as, like vegetarian meat, right? I haven't bought meat in so long. I haven't bought meat since I've lived on my own. So I have no idea like mm. what shelf life is like. Yeah. That's weird. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. I've been vegetarian for a long time. Wait, that's true. I haven't either. I'm old. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> I'm going to eat this. Probably show you our little gym setup when we finish it. 
You can uh, you can join me for a spell while I listen to a podcast and rearrange and sweep. What are you gonna listen to? D and D, probably. Not another D and D podcast. I'm sure it's windy, so I don't know if you'll be able to hear me, but we're on a walk at this trail near where we live that we've never really walked on before. The quarantine. It's super nice. Yeah. Turn around a little. Rocky Mountain High. See the mountains way back there? It's sunny, but it's really windy and cold. Uh, so we're gonna go do a little workout in the garage. But before I do that, I'm gonna throw some tofu in the oven because it's gonna take about 40 minutes to bake. And then after our workout, I'll have lunch. Eric's uh, consuming all of my pre-workout. It's half a scoop. <laughs> the scoop is this big. Is. <laughs> so I've got a block of extra from tofu that I cubed up. I'm gonna drizzle it with about a tablespoon of olive oil, some salt, pepper. You can use any spices you want, really. Onion powder. Got a massive garlic powder here. So just toss so that the tofu is all coated with the spices and most importantly the oil because the oil is what's going to help make it super crispy and delicious and uh, worth waiting 40 minutes for. And then we're going to sprinkle it with cornstarch right around a tablespoon as well, but you can just eyeball it. It's ideal if you can press your tofu, get out a little bit of the extra liquid first, but I didn't think I had to do that. Oven's preheating to 400 degrees, and we're just gonna bake it 15 to 20 minutes on each side, which I think should be perfect amount of time to get in a quick workout. Just do your best to keep them separated. Throw this in the oven. Gonna have a pre-workout Oreo. I'm obsessed with this flavor. Caramel coconut, so good. Kind of reminds me of Samoa Girl Scout cookies. Okay, so against my better judgment, because I've already had caffeine today, I'm gonna take some pre-workout. This is my favorite kind. I don't think I've shown this on the channel yet. Definitely on Instagram, but it's by Alani New. I'll link it down below, not sponsored. It's the um, Hawaiian shaved ice flavor. It's really good. I take half a scoop because there's a lot of caffeine in a full scoop. It also has the beta alanine, which is what makes you like kind of itchy and tingly. So if you don't like that feeling, uh, don't buy it. <laughs> but it definitely helps me get pumped up for my workouts. Okay, here's a garage. Eric brought up all of this workout stuff that we inherited from a friend many, many months ago, maybe over a year ago at this point, and we have not touched it. I think this is a 15 pound barbell, the long one. 13. <laughs> oh, this is 13? <laughs> nice. Okay, um, I've got a bunch of these different uh, bands that you can put around your legs to do different like glute activation workouts. Um, got my yoga mat out here. Well, I'm looking for somewhere to hang the pull-up bar. Yeah, we have a pull-up bar in our, in our house. But I want to keep it hung inside. So we run back and forth to do pull-ups. Why not? That's part of the... Uh, Cardio? Yeah, you got to sprint inside to, to the pull-up bar. We're going to do like a full body workout, but with some extra emphasis on the booty. I want to do a set just to warm up the glutes. That mind muscle connection. So this I think is my thickest resistance band. These are really easy to get online, by the way, if you want to order some, they're super handy. I use them in pretty much all of my workouts, even when I am at the gym. Get you a bench. Depending on the height of the bench, you're just going to want to slide down till you're Knees are at a 90 degree angle here. I'm resting like right on my shoulder blades. You don't have to do it with a band if you don't have one. You can still fire up your glutes, but the band makes you put extra effort into keeping your legs spread apart. It's gonna turn on like the outside of your glutes. It helps if you keep your head fixed and you're looking at a specific point in space ahead of you. Cause if you're moving it with the movement, then you're just kind of like using the momentum of your entire upper body to do it and you really just want to be using your glutes so just keep it nice and controlled it helps too if you um hold it for a couple seconds at the top if you have a band you'll definitely feel it doing that i tend to do uh 
higher ups with this movement. But you can always put weight on your hips, which we might do afterwards. Oh, yeah. What do you say? Because we have weights now. Yeah, you can put some a dumbbell, or if you have a barbell and a barbell pad, you can put weight on these. Just wait till I find some vessel in the backyard to fill up with weights and carry around. <laughs> yeah. Like do... Um, what are they called? Far farmer farmers? walks? Farmer carry, yeah. Oh, I saw some people on Instagram filling up like laundry detergent jugs with water oh. and like carrying that around and doing like deadlifts with it. I'm sure we have some, some stuff. Am I doing it still? Still correctly? I don't know, can you feel it? I can. <laughs> you ready to have a great butt, babe? I mean, a, a, a better greater. butt? Greater butt. So lunges are really good. They're one of my staples for glute building. If we had sturdier furniture, this is really isn't the best furniture. Sturdier. If it were sturdier, I would do like step ups, but I'm scared to stand on that. So another issue is this uh, cement platform we have in our backyard is slanted. So <laughs> no matter which way you're facing on here, the movement's uneven in some way. I think actually the step up onto this concrete slab oh, yeah. from the grass is enough of a step up. So that's all I'm gonna do. I think, I think this is 20 pounds each, but I'm not really sure what the weight of the, uh, the handle is. No, I've never done that. Oh, I hate it. I hate every second of that. We have a neighbor dog invasion. Also, thanks to everyone who listened to our podcast episode about Melvin. And if you don't know what we're talking about, Go I'll, link, to I'll <laughs> link it in the description box. Don't worry, nothing bad happened. Are we gonna get coronavirus from them? I don't think so. Hi, hello. You are very cute. So I just did 15 reps at uh, 45 pounds. Yeah. <sighs> I just tried to keep the tempo pretty high. I get a little bit of a burn. Yeah, she's taking a poo. <laughs> <laughs> We've been gifted. <laughs> she found a toy. Oh, she looks so happy. <laughs> I really like these for hamstring and booty. Um, and depending on how you perform the movement, you can emphasize different parts of your body. So just make sure you keep your back neutral. You don't want it like curved or like rounded. Have like a slight bend in your knees and you're just gonna lower it until uh, you feel a stretch in your hamstrings and then back up. And you're kind of pushing your butt back. And at the top, you're really squeezing your glutes and coming all the way through. This is another movement you can add uh, one of the resistance bands to right above your knees and like kind of turn your feet out a little bit. These are hard. How many was that? I don't know. I was talking the entire time. <laughs> I hate these, man. Yeah? They're so hard for me. <laughs> Last time I did these... Yeah? ...was the day before my surgery. Yeah? I not remember how sore I was. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do one more set of squats with the barbell on my back, just for my quads. Might throw a band on this for this round, too. These are kind of weird doing with it slanting downward. Oof! It burns. For good measure, I'm gonna throw in one more 
round of hip thrusts, but I'm gonna use the heavier weight. And I've got one of these barbell pads. If you don't have one of these, you can just roll up a towel or a yoga mat, um, but you don't wanna put too much weight on your hips because it bruises, trust me. All the same things that I said before apply. And then on the last rep, I like to hold it for as long as I can till I burn out. Ow. Now I do the banded sidewalks. All you're doing is taking a resistance band and kind of shuffling back and forth. Or if you have a long, <laughs> a long unobstructed path, you can just walk all the way in one direction and all the way back. Um, so this is really gonna burn out the outside of your glutes. How you doing, baby? Well, oh God. <laughs> Oh God, just do these till they burn. I'm just gonna do some pull-ups. I was gonna throw in some abs, you know, but I don't want sore abs because we're gonna go on a long run tomorrow and that's no fun. Tell me how, how quickly you start hurting. Here. Get low, baby. Oh! <laughs> They're no fun, you guys. <laughs> 10. They're super effective though. It's super effective. I kind of just want to yell at you like a drill sergeant, but... <laughs> I'm just going to do one set of pull-ups because I really want to eat tofu. I'm also already so tired. <sighs> Five is all you're getting out of me today. I'm filming myself. <laughs> All right, now with me on your back. Okay, get up here. <laughs> Fun fact, I actually forgot that I had tofu in the oven until Eric came inside to use the bathroom and then heard the timer and I don't really know how long the timer was beeping without me hearing it. So, the tofu is very overdone, but actually in kind of a good way. It kind of tastes like fried chicken now. Babe, I need you to try this and corroborate this claim. Me? Mm-hmm. I don't know who you'd be talking to, but... My other boyfriend. What? Tell me that doesn't taste like fried chicken. Wow. No. It really does. Mm-hmm. It's a little overly chewy, but it's good. I tried to get some greens in, which I haven't really been good at since we've been uh, at home all day and trying to go to this grocery store minimally. So, I have some old shredded iceberg lettuce that I'm gonna eat because it seems imprudent to throw produce away in these times. Well, really any time, but especially now. Uh, we made homemade veggie sushi. We made spring rolls. We have some leftover veg here from spring rolls we made the other day. Cucumber, carrots, some jalapenos. Um, I'm gonna chop these up, I think, and throw it in here with my wilty lettuce and make a little salad with my crispy tofu. Then we're not eating more Oreos. We're having, I'm gonna drizzle it with some of this Melinda's Thai sweet chili sauce. Just kneeling on the floor to eat this. Sweet chili sauce. If you can find this one, I really like it because it's a little more spicy than your usual sweet chili sauce. We're making dinner. We're gonna make something Indian-ish inspired, kind of like alu gobi, right? That's what it's called? Mm -hmm. Right, so we've got cauliflower, potato, got some tomatoes that are on the brink of going bad, so I figured we just add them. Onion, jalapeno, garlic, and gingies, and uh, what's this called? Carrot. Carrots. So I like to get my aromatics super toasty, kind of brown before I add the rest of the ingredients. So now I'm going to add the tomatoes and my spices, maybe a little splash of water and um, cook for a couple minutes just to get the raw flavor out of the tomatoes and then I'll put in all the rest of my vegetables. Spices I've got here are ground cumin, some paprika, 
some ground coriander, this has got masala, and then I've got turmeric. Probably gonna put in black pepper too. I added my potatoes in too, just because those take a little bit longer to cook. Yeah. Chickpeas? So here's dinner. Served it with some rice. I stirred in some peas too at the last minute. And then I topped it with some roasted cashews. It's easy to feel optimistic when you're a third of the way there. Eventually, the wheels will start. Hello. It's the following day. And we just got back from a run. Um, it's still pretty early. Um, but it's gonna snow flurry later today. So we wanted to get our outdoor activities out of the way first thing in the morning. I feel good, it's very crisp outside, my nose is numb. I think we're gonna eat oatmeal now, cause it's cold, we want something cozy. Although we do have some avocados. Maybe I want some avocado toast. So here's my breakfast. We got a piece of sourdough toast, half of a little avocado. Put some of this Trader Joe's lemon pepper on there. This is a um, packet of the lower sugar maple and brown sugar Quaker oats. I think there's monk fruit in here, um, but it's just like a tiny little serving and I overcook it so it's like an oatmeal cake and then, then I drizzle milk on top. It's great. So I made a big batch of cold brew yesterday night and I already had some of this, we both did this morning with some of the silk half and half, but I think I'm also gonna have a little cup of this, which I showed earlier in this video, wait. It's all blurring together. I don't know what's what anymore. Uh, I'm making oatmeal too, so it's funny, the packets of oatmeal she's eating are ones I bought and I usually eat, but today I wanted to make oatmeal from scratch. <laughs> so I just have rolled oats here. Ooh. We're good, we're good. See, this is why I hate making oats I got eyes on, I got eyes on it. This stuff is the best. I, you know, I love coconut stuff, but I, for some reason, don't really like it. It's peanut butter with coconut blend. Okay. Organic extra virgin coconut oil. Chopped up a little, a little nanner. Flop mm. it in there. Delightful. Mm-hmm. Probably hit this with a little cinnamon when it comes out. I can't explain why I like my oatmeal <laughs> like this so much. Like, with cold milk, hot oatmeal, it's like cakey and mildly gummy, but it's so good. It's almost, I feel like I'm eating like oatmeal cookie dough with milk. Can I just That's say, why I like it. What? I tried it. He gagged. <laughs> I like oatmeal and that was mildly disturbing to me. <laughs> this is the only way I like oatmeal right now. Eric's really proud of his oatmeal, so uh. You know, it's too much though. Too much? This How is too much, much is oatmeal. It? Really? It's half a cup of oats and an That's entire banana. That's the perfect size for you. I don't know if I can get through it all. You're big, strong man. That's my... <laughs> uh, I put pumpkin spice, pumpkin pie spice oh. on it, mostly just because it looks nice and I wanted to show you guys that I'm fancy. Oh, cute. So, I'm fancy. Well, I'm glad both of us think that the other's breakfast is absolutely appalling. Hey, so uh, how was that oatmeal? So I took two bites of it and... Um, I, it really, I really wasn't in the mood. <laughs> First I, sugar? I couldn't even swallow. I was like, I don't want this at all. <laughs> so I made a day of burrito and I'm having half an avocado. <laughs> and the burrito just like melted in the microwave and like split in half. Which one is this? Tex-Mex. Tex-Mex. So it has beans and rice and some veggies and pinto beans. Cheese. Yeah. And I put some salsa on top. Nice. I needed savory. That sounds good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you'll obviously have a bite. Really? Yeah, I'll save the oatmeal for later. Sarah yeah. suggested we make protein shakes later, protein smoothies. Blend the oatmeal Just in. Just throw the oatmeal in it. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Well, I was eating puffins last night and I guess I left the box there. <laughs> uh, I was wondering what you were filming. It's the peanut butter puffins, they're so good. They're still good. They're definitely stale. <laughs> we just had some lunch. I had some jasmine rice and some steamed broccoli. And as we were eating, we were watching, we were watching um, Rhett and Link's comprehensive ice cream taste test. And then I realized that we have a tub of ice cream that's been sitting in our freezer for months and months and months because neither of us really cared for it. Oatly mint chip. 
it's not like disgusting, but we yeah. just, you don't, Eric doesn't like it, and neither of us is particularly picky. I think it's just personal preferencing though, like the type of mint that's in here, we don't really like. But I really wanted ice cream after watching the taste test, so I uh, crushed up some Oreos in there. And uh, it's better now. <clears throat> Cookies and cream is so good. What was your favorite ice cream before going vegan? I don't remember. I, don't, I truly don't remember. If you wanted to go out and get ice cream from a scoop shop, where would you go? Uh, I don't know, I always, went to, I always went to Carvel, and there's no Carvel out here. I've never heard of that, yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's Carvel out here. Mm -hmm. But I used to get like vanilla soft serve. Some, sometimes I would just get gummy bears on top and mix it in. Ooh, yeah. that doesn't bother you, them getting really hard when they're cold? It didn't, it sounds bad now. But I don't know, because it's like, I love mint chocolate chip, but they have that mm -hmm. now. Like, I love peanut butter and like chocolate ice cream, and they have a million different flavors like that now. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I don't miss anything. I used to go to Cold Stone, I would get a little bit of their cookie bat or cake batter, and a little bit of their cheesecake ice cream. I think it was strawberry cheesecake. It's been a long time. I miss cheesecake ice cream. Not a moo has one, and it's good, but it's not like the best. Also, I don't think I showed you guys yet. We moved this uh, folding picnic table out and made it our desk so that we could work together and uh, be close to the window where all of the light comes from and therefore be less depressed. Oh, what's this? Microphone. We have so much frozen food. Um, but it's been a couple of hours since we last checked in. We recorded a podcast episode with Sweet Simple Vegan, which is will probably be up by the time you're watching this vlog, so I'll link it down below. Uh, if you don't know Sweet Simple Vegan, they run a vegan blog. They have a YouTube channel as well. Lots of great recipes. I'll link all of their information down below. But after that, we ran to the grocery store. We picked up a couple more essentials. Frozen vegetables, some salad greens. We're kind of running low on those. We also happened to find... So Ben and Jerry's came out with a couple new non-dairy flavors, which everyone had been uh, DMing me about on Instagram. We happened to find Netflix and Chilled, which is this... Was this a regular ice cream flavor of theirs I don't that they made non-dairy? I think it is. I don't think it was like a... A bestseller. Oh like uh, yeah, famous one. Right, so I never had Ben & Jerry's growing up, so I'm not really familiar with all their flavors, but this is peanut butter ice cream with sweet and salty pretzel swirls and fudge brownies. Sounds amazing. I'm sure we'll have some later. Um, and then for dinner, we picked up some takeout. So we've been cooking so damn much. We got some Qdoba, which is kind of like Chipotle if you haven't heard about it before. It's like build your own burritos. Uh, we got some Impossible. You got an Impossible burrito. I got an Impossible burrito bowl. Mine has rice, beans, Impossible burger, fajita veggies, lots of different salsa, guac, lettuce. I put tortilla strips in there, which should be good. Yours is roughly the same, right? Just in burrito form. Tor wheat tortilla, brown rice, both beans, impossible, pico, habanero, salsa, guac, and lechuga. Can I just say I so much prefer ordering online to going in person. It's my social anxiety talking. This quarantine's really working out for me. Mm -hmm. I'll just say that. They did no one's in the restaurant. Yeah. You just walk in, you grab it yourself, you don't interact with it. <laughs> yeah. You leave. Safety. Um, I think we're gonna, what are we gonna, are we gonna watch more Tiger King? It's a little disturbing to watch while eating. You want to watch something else? What should we watch? The Korean show. Oh, yeah. Because this is my first life. Yeah. We started a Korean... Is it a comedy and drama? I would say dramedy. Yeah, it's it's cute. Uh, how did you find out about it? Reddit? Someone made... Yeah, someone made a reference on Reddit. All right. First time watching anything like that, but it's pretty charming. We're a couple of episodes in. <laughs> also, as far as our hot sauce needs go, we have a... Uh, a tub of... In abundance. <laughs> hot, uh, Taco Bell and Del Taco hot sauces from every time we get takeout from there. For all of our fast food Mexican needs. Right. Uh, surprisingly, we have not gone to Taco Bell since we've been quarantined, which mm -hmm. is shocking. But We've gotten fries from Wendy's. Mm -hmm. Diablo is my favorite hot sauce. It wasn't always the case. I used to like Fire Vest, but Diablo really takes the cake for me. And it makes me angry when I think this is a Diablo packet, but it's a Del Scorcho. Hey guys, I'm just finishing editing this extremely long vlog. Realized that per usual, I forgot to film an outro. So I just wanted to thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Especially if you watch the entire thing. Thank you, love you. There'll be lots more like this coming soon. We're also probably gonna do some mukbangs. 
Maybe I'll do like a Q&A. Let me know if you want more workouts or if people don't really care about fitness. Whatever. Thank you. See you soon. Hope you're all doing well and you're safe and healthy and happy. Bye.